this is the bottle that I've modeled and uh, what we are going to set up lighting for and add a backdrop and uh, go through some different lighting setups. So let's just uh, start. Uh, I think that we can add a plane firstly. And you have probably seen this trick already, but you choose, let's go into solid viewer. You choose, uh, press two and choose the line and extrude it upwards, E set. Then you choose this line, control B and just scroll your wheel and shade smooth. And let's go into rendered view. And here everything is purple because we need to go to shader, editor, world. And our first setup here can be to just add an HDRI and be done with it. So I choose Photo Studio 01 from HDRI Haven. And let me bring this up. We can go Control B. Just to, to get rid of everything outside and in the shader editor on the environment texture we press ctrl T and we can change the degrees let's see minus 27 minus 45 I think is a good number you will get this shadow here and here we have our first setup let's just go into the camera and check I think we can do 1.4 on the aperture, maybe 2.8 is better, so we don't get it blurry, blurry on the edges here. And background color, let's change that as well. New material, I think we go for black roughness. Let's bring it to gray. That's that's a nice look, in my opinion. And go back to world. See, we have our settings, strength one. You can tune the strength and you can add more lights here, but this is the most basic. And what we'll do is we'll do one render. Here we got the first render. What we'll do is we'll change it to slot two and close it. And then what we'll do now is we remove or press strength zero. Everything is black. And uh, we'll tune a little bit our, our setup here. Uh, press N to remove the, the line here and we'll do solid view here so we can have a better control of our lights So what we'll start with is an area light and not use HDRI for this one light area and we can uh, Firstly, we can use our key light Move it over here maybe not straight on 45 degrees but maybe 30 something like that and you can see the result here it looks nice but what we also can do is press two times on R and angle it towards our product and um, and what I like to do you usually have a three light setup but what I like to do is actually to add another plane and we rotate on Y 90 degrees and we'll move it on the X and scale it down to add in some light because we can bounce on the white. We can bounce our big area light here on the white and fill in the shadows on the product. So we can see the effect when I disable and enable and we'll get this very nice, um, what's it called, this white portion here on the product. And this is what we can tune later as well, but firstly we'll add a backlight. So at a point light. We want this to be a bit sharp, so that's why it's a point light. And we'll also tweak the radius. As now we can see, we've got some, some edge light here and here. And we have this big, two big soft lights. What we'll do is we can, I don't think we need to tune the power. But maybe we'll do a little bit bigger, maybe 0.4. 
is a nice fig figure here. And now we can see it almost overlaps with the other one. So what we'll do is we'll move this and you can see here that the white portion also moves. But now we get the symmetry and I don't like the symmetry. So let's scale it. So we do not get exactly the, the same angle bit. Maybe here, what we can do on this, is it too big? Maybe do even bigger. It will be a softer light and maybe bump it up to 50, no, not 50, 30. Ah, let's do 25 and I think we have a good, good fit. This plane that I added, we can also give it a new material and we can change the color to change the fill. So maybe we want it a little bit darker here. So change the value. And here we get some nice contrast from the key light and also here. And let's render this image. Let me just move it out of the frame and render on slot two. And here we have slot two. Let's go to slot three and do the final setup. So let's delete this one, delete this one and delete this one. What we'll do now is we'll add a area light and we do just on the top. And what we'll also do is we'll do another area light and we'll change it to, let's go to the top view first and we'll do a 45 angle. So yeah, let's do it from there and change it up and R. And as I said, press R twice to, to aim it onto the product. And we want to add some color. Let's take this a little bit further up and we want to add another area light. And sometimes you, you want to add a little bit of atmosphere you don't want it to be plain and um, you don't want it to be plain and the colors or be colorless or white light sometimes you want it to get the clean look but you also sometimes want to get some color get some atmosphere get some some feeling to the product shot so we reduce this one to get a little bit sharper uh, shadow and light and this is the key light uh, I think we should do 100 maybe that's a bit too much the, you have to tweak this in relation to each other 30 is a uh, okay number and we'll do 15 on this light and it depends also on the distance what we'll do is we'll press use not node on the light not actually and we'll do black body and plug that into the color and here we we got a color change what i like to do is to make 3600 that's some sunset color and for the key light we'll do shift a black body and we'll do 5600 which is roughly daylight and for the top light we'll do the same i don't think we should mix too many colors we'll do 5600 maybe that's a bulb maybe this is uh, some some soft window light this this light on the side there is some soft window light from the sunset and these are just a, a ceiling light and this is a table light or something so so you'll get this look maybe in a if you added a table here or something to to kind of ground it in reality and and where uh, this product would 
be used but i think we we have um we should lower this um, power a little bit to get some contrast and let's render it for slot number three there we go that's slot number three so now we can scroll through them and see which one we like the best this is a clean look no hdri and this is a studio lighting set up uh, using an hdri and in my opinion this is looking a little bit flat but you can also implement the other lights from slot number two and slot number three into slot number one and actually make it pretty decent because what an hdri gives you is some at least for the reflection on the steel part here you will actually see the environment around which helps it to, to ground it into reality and not not kind of seem straight away as a, a 3d cg render so so that's uh, an uh, an uh, good thing with with the um, hdri but in my opinion i think that slot 3 gives it a nice warm feel and it actually matches with the with the color of the product which is red so the red light uh, gives it a little bit more of a pop and a nicer feeling and a more welcoming feeling this this clinical light is perfectly fine but maybe not the best for for a water bottle but maybe for a you know, mobile phone some technology and uh, you have to tune it uh, in your own way to see what fits best but this is this is a very nice solution to to compare your renders with each other and what I would do is not not go to delete all of the lights every time. You can mute them here if you want, or you can do different scenes and and render from there to to compare and to not lose your your progress, so to say. That was my guide of recommendations for a studio setup, and uh, I hope this video was helpful. And uh, thank you for watching.